Hey guys! So today I'm finally doing an update on my Mew Ichigo Ida bag. So if you guys want to watch me put together this bag, you can go ahead and skip to this time. What I'm going to be talking about up here at the beginning of the video though is some tips and tricks I have found for when searching for older merchandise. So Tokyo Mew Mew is around 17 years old now, so all of the merchandise was made a really long time ago. Now this isn't the oldest anime that exists out here, and I'm not like a professional at searching for this merchandise. This is just what I found that helps me when I'm looking for this older merchandise. Everybody's situation is gonna be different. So my number one tip is know as much as you can when you're searching. I would recommend knowing what the title is in different languages. So it could be Tokyo Mew Mew versus Mew Mew Power or if it was, you know, shown in different countries, if there was a title change so that if you want to be able to search for, you know, products that possibly came out in Italy. I know a lot of Magical Girl shows were popular in Italy and France or in Korean. Having like a Google Doc with those links language versions of the title is nice to have. Also with that, knowing all the variations of the character you're searching for his names, so like Mew Ichigo or Ichigo Moya or Zoe, if you're going with the English stuff. I don't even remember Zoe's last name. I rarely actually look for the English variation. That's just like, if I'm really searching, things are often tagged as Mew Mew Power though. What I also recommend is knowing who published it. So when I found who published the manga of Tokyo Mew Mew, which is Nakayoshi text here, uh, it made it a lot easier for me to search using that term because sometimes magazines that mangas were originally published in would do like stationary sets or other things. So I actually have a lot of Tokyo Mew Mew stationery now and stickers that I want to be able to add to my bag and I haven't quite decided yet how I want to do that. But I was able to find those through searching for the publisher and searching for the art that they put out. Also, if you guys are interested at all in like Mermaid Melody or Sailor Moon, the publisher who did Tokyo Mew Mew also put those out. So there's a ton of Mermaid Melody and, or Peachy Peachy Peach, let me <laughs> correct my, <laughs> my English brain, or Sailor Moon, then you can search for those products with that publisher and you'll find some older really cool stuff. So what I found is you can just like make a Google Doc of a bunch of search terms and you can kind of like flip through those. You can have them in English and Japanese and you just have it all there then so you can know like what you want to search for and how you want to search for it. So my step number two is search everywhere and often. <laughs> I at some points when I was buying really actively for this bag was searching almost every single day and I'd use the English title and the Japanese title. The specific sites that I would search often were eBay, Bai or Yahoo Auctions and Marseille, Marseille, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. So these Three, I each search for different reasons. eBay, because Tokyo Mimu had a fairly, I guess, strong, at least cult English following. So a lot of Japanese sellers do list things in English on eBay for American sellers. And that is where I bought a majority of my merchandise. I also, of course, look on Bai, which is Yahoo Japan Auctions. A ton of interesting stuff ends up on there. You do have to dig through a lot, especially a lot of like cosplay postings and stuff like that but I've always found looking through Yahoo Auctions to be a really good choice. And then Mercy or Mercy, this is an interesting one because I haven't actually bought off of them because in order to buy through them, you need to have a shopping service and I haven't quite found one that I'm super comfortable with buying through there. But also <laughs> I discovered that the eBay seller that I buy from, which is Mitsune Japan, actually actively shops on Mursai and buys a lot of her products through there and then sells them on eBay. And you might be like, oh, that's kind of scammy, like you could get it for, you know, cheaper. But if you actually calculate the amount it would cost for me to use a shopping service, it actually kind of equals out if I just buy it through eBay. But that actually, funnily enough, happened to me with Yahoo Auctions too. The person I buy from, bless her soul, she's a real she's really nice she's always had like great shipping and service and stuff it was so funny it was actually on this rubber strap which i talk about later in the video and what sort of research i've done with this one and as soon as i saw it i saw it on yahoo auctions and i was like oh i need that so i was bidding on it and bidding on it and the bid ended early and i was like shoot shoot i wanted to have this and then a few days later it goes up on ebay from the seller i buy from and i was like you there, you silly goose. So I was able to get it for her, which I kind of think is funny now because I'm like, well, if I lose any other bids, I hope that you're the one winning them so that I just get the stuff from you, I guess, because it's easy. You just, you have to be wary and you have to understand that if 
you might be the only market for this product, which might make prices kind of crazy. So my third thing I recommend is follow sellers. If you see someone that lists an item from the anime or manga or series that you are looking into, follow them. Write down their username. If they're on eBay, you can follow them and get email updates when they post new stuff. I do this with some different sellers on eBay and I have some different ones actually on Yahoo Auctions bookmark because I want to be able to check back in and see because a lot of my thinking is if they if these products are selling they're probably going to want to find more and put more up so hopefully I can get more through buying more does that sound ridiculous I'm not sure but yeah just like being very aware and keeping track of people you have bought stuff from in the past in hopes that they will post more again in the future. So those are the tips and tricks I have when it comes for searching for older merchandise. I hope that those were helpful in some way in you guys' dreams of creating beautiful Ida bags. I have had some people ask about how difficult it is to find merchandise for the other characters. There's actually someone I follow on Instagram and Twitter who's making a com complete Tokyo Mew Mew, like all the characters bag, and she's doing a really awesome job. I'm gonna link her down below if you guys want to see her photos of her bag just because I think it is very cool. I have found that Ichigo is definitely the one that there is the most merchandise of, but that being said, I do think there is a fair amount available out there if you're willing to search for all the characters, so like don't give up hope if you want to make like a mint or lettuce or a zokuro bag because you would be surprised. Pudding especially, there seems to be a good amount. Of that exists or that I've seen. So if you guys want to do one, please don't give up hope and just give it your best shot. It will be expensive. So the rest of this video is going to be me talking about my bag and putting it all together. So if you want to watch that, go ahead and watch it. Or if you would like to just see the end result of my bag a bit closer up, you can go to this time and check it out. Hey guys, so I think I recorded a bit of me putting in all the bottom stuff here, which I hope I've already put into the video or I will add in later, something like that. But I do want to fix all this upper area. So I'm gonna take my bag, my little uh, slip out. I don't wanna use this ribbon anymore. My plan originally was to put a chain in, but that did not happen because I do not own a chain and I could not get myself to purchase one because I was like, oh, the ribbon will be fine. The ribbon's not fine. I'm not a fan of the ribbon anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and Take it off if I can. Also, sorry if my desk looks in any way messy. I uh, do use it for things and I'm admittedly not the cleanest person, so. Yeah, awesome. And here we go. So if I can oof, get this going the way I want to. You can see that this is what I have here. I think the only real major updates from the last time you guys saw it were of course the addition of, I think three of these, these three. I think I might, oh, I have this little pin. I have some more of these, one more of this. I think, I think I had both of these last time. Got one of these, I've been wanting one for a while. And I'll show you kind of everything else I have right now. So I, I have two of these prize straps. Again, not sure if I had two before. I think I only had one. I have this charm, which is by an artist that was selling on TikTok. which this is actually my only fan charm right now. And I might add more, but I, again, was like pretty dedicated on having original merchandise just because my dye bag is very fan merch heavy. Two other things I have, but I haven't figured out a good way to add them are these, of course, that are from the shampoo bottle. If you guys haven't seen that video, I will link it. Um, I haven't figured out the way I want to attach it. You can see I tried tying some ribbon around her to try and see if I could like tie a ribbon and hang her. I think I'm gonna need some fishing line to hang them in a way that's gonna work. I have those two friends. I still of course have all of these plastic charm pieces which are a challenge to figure out. Also have one of these figures. I don't think I'm gonna add this one to my bag because I kind of just like how she looks so I might find a place to put her on my desk. The desk needs a major overhaul and of course i have this miyuchigo figure you guys have seen her before that's in my game ps1 game unboxing i also have this figure which the seller i buy from kindly sent me for free with something else i bought and i don't have her on her stand yet but her face paint always kind of spooks me gonna be honest i have these two bags 
Not sure if these are legit merchandise, but I kind of like the idea of hanging them off of my bag, but those two. And then the piece of resistance. You guys have seen this on my Instagram if you follow me at Nefamulita. This giant rubber strap. Now, interesting fact, I tried looking into this strap because before I bought it, I had never seen it before. And so I, of course, followed the names on the back to try and look into it. Now the two names are Mikakawa Mura and Kodansha. So Mikakawa Mura was actually an artist that did mangas around the same time of Tokyo Mew Mew's publishing, but she isn't the original artist of Tokyo Mew Mew. She's just kind of a similar artist in a similar genre sort of situation. And the other name, Kodansha, is a bookstore, I believe. At the end of the day, I have a feeling that this is a bootlegged item because Again, I've never seen one before. I can't really trace its history online and it might just be my search terms. And some things like the d black outlining not being on this eye and other things lead me to believe that this was a bootlegged item. However, it is a very large rubber strap. This is the largest rubber strap I own and it's very detailed, which I find like to be very curious. This is just such an interesting item. Again, had never seen it before. If any of you guys have seen this before, please let me know any details that you know about it. I've Find this to be very interesting. That's just a cool thing I have. And even if it's fake, I think that it's just an interesting item. And that's definitely one thing I've noticed with Tokyo Mimi. There's like a lot of very obviously fake items, but there's no online sort of collection of all products that were produced over time. So it can be hard at times to tell, but ones like, like these, I'm like, yeah, this could have been bootlegged like super easily, but it, it is more of a gray area when it's something like this, or even something like these guys, I, I'm never sure because I don't know of their origins. So now I'm gonna go ahead and try and figure out how I'm I'm gonna make this all work. This is exciting, <laughs> no doubt. These straps are becoming a problem for me because I'm not, they're so long and I'm not, just not sure where to put them that you can like see them fully. Obviously the way I have this set up is like not favorable for them to be anywhere, which is totally my fault. I did not think about it at all when setting them up. They're a, they're a thing. Also this little friend. What I might do is I think I'm gonna add some of my little friends here. I have a few of these rings left. I think I'm gonna add these to my little plastic pals so I can hang them up flat. And then I'm gonna kind of just try and decide from there about what I want to do with the rest, which is immense, no doubt. I'm glad I have these rings. I actually got them for a keychain project I did this summer at my summer job. Had to buy them myself, thanks low funding <laughs> camp program, but it's definitely like a worthwhile purchase now and I can uh, put them to use in the bag. It looks like I'll have the perfect amount, so I hope I'm just not gonna need any more after this or else I'll have to get some more. So again, if you guys ever have any questions about any of the items in my bag or where I purchased them, please go ahead and comment down below and I will definitely respond as soon as I can. Do note though, I am a student. I do not have a ton of free time all the time, so I might not respond super quickly always, but I am glad to answer any questions about where I found my items. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove these keychains from this section and I'm gonna hang my longer friends right over here. If I hang them from the top, it doesn't bug the uh, buttons too much. I do like these straps a lot. I just, I love the look of having a ton of similar things next to each other. I think it's very aesthetically pleasing. And for these ones, I'm just gonna use a bigger pin, I think. And I pin it through the top. Yeah, these ones are always harder to figure out how I wanna handle them. It's gonna, <laughs> maybe I'll be able to cover it up with something. Those are attached. These are made of such a weird plastic. They like kind of get melted, very odd. And then I guess I could hang these guys just up higher, up here maybe. Kind of do a similar thing where I hang them over the edge. I'm thinking that'll look okay if I do that. So maybe I can do the two for one pin thing again. If you're wondering why I'm trying to use so little pins, I actually have started running out of pins. So, and by running out of pins, I mean I lost them. I don't know where I put them. And if I need them, I'll have to find them, of course, but I'm gonna see how far I can make it with uh, minimal resources. That's looking like that'll be all right. Oof, so this is where, this is where things get difficult. Do something like that. Maybe I should just hang them from a ribbon again and tie them off, who knows? I do think I'm gonna have this Mayuji go right here though. So I'm gonna remove her gold chain. What a G. I'm so sad that I'm pinning this through the Velcro because it's much harder to do than any 
have a part of the bag. Okay, so I'm gonna take these off, just see what I have going on right now. Oh, you guys can't even see. I'm gonna move these a bit over. That's all right, I'd say so far. So then we have this blank area, which I'm hoping will be perfect for my last little friends, these guys. Maybe if I put them on one of these chains and like hang that chain across, it will end up being all right. Put this gold chain to use. So I'm hoping maybe the balls will like hold them so they aren't constantly sliding over each other, but I'm thinking maybe the layered look wouldn't be too bad. Ooh, that looks kind of rad. <laughs> I think I'm gonna add these to the other side back here. But I kind of like this like cloned look. I mean, I think it is gonna be a pain in terms of how they move in the bag, but I kind of like it. So how am I gonna make sure this stays put? What happens if I clip it around? If I clip it around like that, they're all just gonna be. All right, so my camera battery died, so I had to charge it and I only charged it a little bit so that I could keep progressing without you guys missing too much. So here's what it's looking like. I pinned down these. I'm thinking that the system will work for now. I mean, they will slide together and apart and that was be something I have to deal with. I also pinned down this charm. I added this little friend in the corner and you might be like, hey Mary, what's uh, what's this pal floating over here? How do you do that? Well, um, please don't hate me. <laughs> I've done a really maniacal thing. I added a dot of hot glue and I attached an old pin to the back of them so I can just slot them in. And my thinking is because it is hot glue, it's not gonna be strong enough of a glue for it to actually damage them and they'll still be able to stay in place and I can move them around wherever I see fit. And they're just such a cute thing to have. I didn't want to not have these on my bag because it just didn't feel like it would be like a, you know, full complete without them. So this is where my bag is at right now. I think I'm gonna leave it like this because I really don't feel super sure about having these on the bag. They're just so big and so like, I don't know, it has the character, you know, it has Ichigo, but at the same time, it's just, it's just large. A majority of these products were either bought through Baiyi, which is a shopping service that lets you buy off of Yahoo auctions. So a lot of these were from Yahoo Auctions Japan. A lot of them were also from eBay. And if you guys watch the beginning of this video where I talk about tips and tricks towards making your Ida bag, I kind of talk about my different experiences with buying through those services. So I'm hoping that that was helpful. So here is my updated bag. In terms of plans for the future with this bag, I am pretty happy with it. The only thing I don't like is how much space these pins take up, but I love them. So I'm not gonna like change them. Of course, I kind of want something to put here, so maybe I'll try and get another pin I can put there. Would love to have like two more buttons down here. Would love more of these keychains, though I'm not sure where I'm planning on putting them. If I were to get more, it'd be cool to have like a, a row or like a, a grapevine style sort of thing. I always want more of these. I don't think I should buy more. There is one more style of Ichigo plush I do want though that I would love to have for my bag, but I'm not sure if I will be able to get it. It was There was one on auction this last week. I didn't go for it because I'm trying to save up my money a bit right now and not spend so heavily. This summer was a pretty spending heavy time for me, so I'm trying to hold back a little bit on that. So this is what my bag looks like. I said that a billion times. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back inside the bag now though so that we can get the full experience. And I'm gonna knock over my camera. Yeah, there is just, hmm. It's interesting how you can see so much more blank space when you put it in the context of the actual bag. And I'm hoping the shine, the glare isn't too bad. Maybe I'll not zip it up all the way. Hoping the Velcro will work because I've added so many pins and stuff to the back of it. I think it'll be okay. It's pretty strong Velcro. So here we go. Here's the bag. Again, this is still a work in progress. I don't think my Eda bags will ever be 100% completed. This section is definitely what's gonna probably see the most change. Again, if I get more keychains, I might put like a lineup up here. This charm's really big though, so I'm not sure where she'd end up going. Still love this, still considering um, moving into getting some fan merchandise maybe for filling in the blanks. But this is my little Ichigo army. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know I've been talking about this video for a while, but thank you for being so interested and checking it out. Yay! I hope that you guys are all having an amazing week. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you guys have any other questions about Ida bags, I'm actually gonna link some other videos 
that I find helpful up in the info. And these are by Deja Vudi. So if you guys want some more Eat a Bag stuff in your life, I recommend checking their videos out. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me down below. I am not a professional, but I like to help in any way that I can. Again, I'm not trying to claim I'm an expert in any way. When it comes to Eat a Bags, I just really enjoy these. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like or subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thank you guys all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.